creating a helix spline. To create a helix, we're going to come up into our command panel. We're going to go to create. We're going to shapes. We're going to pick on the splines drop down menu. In the object type, we'll go with helix. In the helix, it'll ask us to pick the center point of the helix. We're going to drag out and we're going to create the radius. Then we're going to let go and then we're going to drag upwards to create the height. You can see the height down in the left viewport there, in the front viewport. And I pick, and then it's going to ask you to pick the radius. Now you're picking the second radius, or the top radius. So I'm picking that, and I'll pick. If we come over to our rollout over here, you can see down my parameters, I'll set this to maybe an exactly two feet. And let's set my second radius to say one foot. So, let me go in here. You can see the bottom's two feet, the top foot is one foot radius. Now, and let's come up here and you can see we can go counter cl or clockwise or counterclockwise, which way we're spinning it. And we can also go into our keyboard, keyboard entry and we can do that method as well. Now, we'd like to take a look at down here in the parameters. We have the height here, and I'll set the height here to say exactly four feet. And we can set the turns. Right now, I only have one turn. Let's set it to five turns. Now, you can see it a little bit better in the perspective view. And you can see at the bottom we have a radius of two feet. At the top, it's one foot. We can flip those around so it'd be smaller on bottom, bigger on top if we like. But we can always change the number of turns, etc. at any time. And the height as well. Now the bias is where the turns accumulate. So let's go and put a plus one here. And so I'm going to go plus one, okay? And I'm going to click, and you'll see all the turns accumulate towards the top in this particular scenario. And if I go to a negative one, all the turns accumulate towards the bottom. The default value is zero, so it's equally distributed. So I'll go back to zero. So you can see that. So now if I put a bias of say 0.5 in there, it's going to lead towards more of the turns towards the top half. So we typically want even distribution of a car spring, for example, it would probably be zero. And we don't have to have the two radiuses being different values. We can change them to be the same and that's more of a typical looking spring, for example. All right. So to create a helix, we're going to go up to the command panel. We're going to go to create, shapes, button. We're going to go to the splines pull down menu. And we're going to go to our object type as a helix.